Bienvenidos to Panama. Today we have an all-day tour heading for the world-famous Panama Canal to begin with. I am very excited about seeing it, so please come with us. It should be a great day. Of course, there's going to be sweat or schwitz in Deutsch <laughs> pouring off us in all directions. And my hair already looks like this gigantic SOS Brillo pad from the humidity. Do not expect to see any good hair days with me, but still, come along with us. Here we go, the Miraflores Locks. Approximately 2,000 to 5,000 people visit each day. So this is the ground level. Uh, this section, they have the theater. The theater operates, they switch the language every minute 30, okay? Mm -hmm. For English, will be at every minute zero. So Our first stop is the fourth level. <laughs> Everyone has heard about the Panama Canal. It's an interoceanic navigation route between the Caribbean and the Pacific. It crosses the isthmus of Panama at its narrowest point. And there are locks on each end to lift boats up onto Gatun Lake an artificial lake created to reduce the amount of work required for the excavation of the canal. It raises and lowers them down to the either Atlantic or Pacific. It opened in 1914 and it provides a relatively cheap path between two oceans and has influenced the patterns of world trade. These are electric towings, okay? The idea with these guys is to hook up to the ship with a, with a cable, with a steel cable. And the idea is to keep, this, keep the ship steady, centered, avoiding him to be bouncing or scraping even the walls of the chambers. So that's the purpose. So the well, on the side. Yeah. Well, how many of them do they use for the ship? It all though? depends. According to the size of the ship, they will put two on each side, Hi. three on each side, or sometimes four in each, in, in, in each side. To come through here, but of course they have to continue filling up the chamber first. Now that's the ship. It's going to come through. You can see the locomotives studying it on both sides. So, by 110 feet wide, by 48 feet deep. deep. Between 34 to 40 ships pass through every single day. The American Built Canal, this one, was took 10 years from 1904 to 19. 14. Once the water levels are even, it takes 10 minutes to transit the canal. Some process. This is really one of the world's great sights. I, I, I'm going to see the video in a little while, but I don't remember how many workers died of malaria and disease building the canal. See one on each side now. This one is empty. Vincent said it's a dry boat. They carry corn, wheat, etc. Uh, it's mandatory that every vessel of these sizes, they have to go at least with two of these guys. Oh, okay. Two of these two boats. One in front, one, and one in the back. Yeah, <laughs> for the maneuvering. They charge two to three, oh, so three vessel, to four thousand dollars yeah. an hour for the tugboat. Take to, to transit the Panama these Canal is anywhere from one hundred fifty thousand to half a million uh, dollars. Salaries for the Panama Canal pilots, whether not on a tugboat or whatever, is a minimum of 15,000 US dollars a month. The Windstar is going to come through. Basically, those are the first two trails 
discovered by the Spaniards? The Spaniards. They say they discovered, but really and truly, they were oriented by our native Indians. Well, Indian. of course they were. The indigenous people indigenous showed them how to, how to cut on through. Right. Right across so the Isthmus. So they slash in the midst of the jungle, and they created cobblestone roads, as the first one was called Camino Real. 100% trail in the lush vegetation. Later ahead, due to the conditions of our climate, all of this is heavy jungle. So and it nice. rains and it pours a lot. The river meets with the artificial lake that is called Gatou. Sorry. And later ahead, we joined the Colombia. French Ferdinand de Lesseps founded the company in 1879 into building the canal through the isthmus of Panama between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The initial plan was to dig a ditch 22 meters wide and 9 feet deep. <coughs> they removed 59 million plus cubic meters of rock and soil. Uh, malaria and yellow fever were the two biggest killers while they were building it. The French attempt failed because of the mosquitoes and the rain and the weather and their budget. Next the Americans came in and they bought the concession from the French for $40 million and first brought in their own medical personnel to uh, inoculate the workers. Drilling, blasting, digging, dredging, hauling and dumping the excavated materials. So, George Washington Gotals was instrumental in finishing the job. And basically then blasted their way through with dynamite. The bridge that you're seeing here, the image, is the same bridge that you would go through Gamboa. Okay, it's called Oh My God. Gamboa is right in the middle where we're going, so we're going to be around Lake Gatun. Mm -hmm. That's how they go. This goes up, lowered. This is where we are, Miraflores. Yeah. Simulator, you can guide yourself through the canal. This is the only person who was ever allowed to swim the canal when yes. the Americans had control. Richard Halliburton, he paid 36 cents. That was his toll. Know that in the morning, the ships transit from the Pacific to the Caribbean, and then in the afternoon, they reverse it. They're closing those gates right now. If you look back on some of my Ukraine videos, You'll see the different canals that we raised and lowered. This is a good spot to see the different levels. The ship will come in there, they'll raise the water level, and then it will continue through on that side. Here it comes. So the wind star. The ship began in Costa Rica. They're beginning to close the gates behind it. Then they'll pour in the water and the water level will rise.